We have witnessed some of the most historic moments in sports history through 2024. From Simon Biles' incredible precision to Armand Duplantis' world record after another to Letziel Tobogo's miraculous sprinting, but one name stands at the forefront of it all, Jakob Ingebrigtsen. If anything, this year has been a year of making running history. 2024 has changed track and field, and this why did the history maker struggle to make his mark? The weight of the world seemed to rest on his shoulders. The pressure to maintain his world record and world championship titles is immense. But behind the glory, a battle is raging within him, a battle that might change his life forever. What secrets does Jakob Ingebrigtsen hide? Can he withstand the scrutiny of the public eye? And what will it take for him to find peace in a world that demands perfection? Keep watching for the full story. Jakob Ingebrigtsen's half marathon debut in September 2024 at the Copenhagen Half. Marathon did not go as planned, especially when viewed against his recent successes on the track. In the weeks leading up to the race, Ingebrigtsen had performed exceptionally, winning the Diamond League 1500 meters title just two days prior and setting a new 2000 meters world record in August. Despite this strong track form, transitioning to the half marathon presented significant challenges for the Norwegian star. In the early stages of the race, he stayed with the leading pack, covering 10 kilometers in 27 minutes and 27 seconds, even setting a Norwegian national record for that distance. However, the strain of the 21-kilometer race soon caught up with him. Ingebrigtsen began to show signs of fatigue shortly after the 10K mark, pausing and walking several times as he struggled to adjust to the longer distance. He eventually finished 34th with a time of 1 hour, 0-3 minutes and 13 seconds. His performance contrasted sharply with that of the race leaders, where Kenya's Sebastian saw claimed victory in 58 minutes 0-5 seconds, just ahead of Jacob Kiplimo of Uganda. Ingebrigtsen's struggles were likely due to a combination of factors, including the fatigue from his Diamond League efforts and his lack of specific training for the half marathon. In his post-race reflection, Ingebrigtsen candidly admitted that the half marathon was definitely too long for him and hinted that he might not attempt the distance again in the near future. One of the primary reasons for Ingebrigtsen's difficult transition to the half marathon was fatigue. Having raced and won the 1500 meters Diamond League title in Brussels just 48 hours before the half marathon, he may not have fully recovered from the physical and mental exertion of that event. Competing at the elite level in such quick succession, especially over significantly different distances, can severely impact an athlete's performance. While his track form remained impressive, the half marathon required endurance beyond what Ingebrigtsen had been training for. A second key factor was the lack of specific preparation for the half marathon. Ingebrigtsen is a dominant middle distance runner, excelling in events ranging from 1500 meters to 5000 meters. His training is likely tailored to shorter, faster races, which emphasizes speed over endurance. In his post-race comments, Ingebrigtsen admitted that the race was definitely too long for him, highlighting that his legs were unprepared for the extended distance. He rarely runs distances longer than 20 kilometers in training, which would have left him underprepared for the demands of the half marathon. Additionally, the competitive field added pressure. Jakob was up against world-class long-distance runners like Sebastian Saw and Jacob Kiplimo, both seasoned half-marathoners. Saw won the race in 58 minutes 05 seconds, with Kiplimo close behind at 58 minutes 09 seconds. This level of competition, combined with Jakob's relative inexperience at the distance, may have exacerbated his difficulties, especially after his strong early pace. Lastly, the mental strain from leading early and then struggling through the latter part of the race likely took a toll on Ingebrigtsen. He had to stop multiple times, which interrupted his rhythm and reduced his overall pace, contributing to his 34th up place finish. This performance highlights the difficulty elite athletes face when transitioning between different distances. While Ingebrigtsen continues to dominate the middle distance track events, the half marathon proved to be an entirely different challenge testing his endurance in ways that his 1500 meters and 5000 meters races do not. Ingebrigtsen's prophecy has more to it than any of us can imagine. Born on the 19th of September 2000, Jakob Ingebrigtsen's family has played a pivotal role in shaping his athletic career. His brothers, Henrik and Philip, 
have also achieved significant success in middle distance running. Growing up in a family of athletes created a competitive and supportive environment that fueled Jakob's passion for the sport. Born on the 19th of September 2000, Jakob Ingebrigtsen's family has played a pivotal role in shaping his athletic career. His brothers, Henrik and Philip, have also achieved significant success in middle distance running. Growing up in a family of athletes created a competitive and supportive environment that fueled Jakob's passion for the sport. Ingebrigtsen's early training was primarily guided by his father, Geert Ingebrigtsen. Under Geert's tutelage, Jakob developed a strong foundation in running technique and endurance. However, the relationship between father and son has been a complex one, marked by both love and conflict. In recent years, the Ingebrigtsen brothers have publicly accused their father of abusive behavior, highlighting the challenges they faced in balancing their athletic aspirations with family dynamics. Despite this, Jakob Ingebrigtsen grew up to be one of the most remarkable middle and long distance runners in the world. Currently holding world records in the short track, 1500 meters, 2000 meters and 3000 meters, and boasting the fastest time ever in the two mile distance. He has achieved Olympic glory twice, winning gold in the 1500 meters at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics and in the 5000 meters at the 2024 Paris Olympics. Ingebrigtsen has also claimed two world championship titles in the 5000 meters and six European titles in the 1500 meters and 5000 meters, establishing himself as a global force in athletics. His career milestones include breaking the sub four minute mile at 16, setting European records in multiple distances and achieving one of the most coveted dual Olympic titles. Despite facing stiff competition from athletes like Timothy Cheruiot, Josh Kerr and Cole Hocker, Ingebrigtsen continues to elevate the sport with his world-beating performances, including setting a 3,000-meter world record in 2024 with an astonishing time of 7 minutes and 17.55 seconds. Ingebrigtsen's ability to recover from setbacks, such as narrowly missing a medal in the 1500 meters at the Paris 2024 Olympics, and still claim gold in the 5000 meters just days later, speaks to his resilience and tactical brilliance. With a family legacy in athletics, his brothers Henrik and Philip also being elite runners, Jakob was trained by their father Geert until 2022, when he began charting his own path. And making his own way paid off for Jakob, see it for yourself. Jakob Ingebrigtsen has rapidly become one of the most successful long distance runners in the world, with his net worth estimated to be around $5 million. At just 23, Jakob's relentless drive and remarkable achievements in athletics have not only earned him international recognition, but also significant financial rewards. Ingebrigtsen's breakthrough moment came during the 2021 Tokyo Olympics, where he clinched the gold medal in the 1500M race, securing a lump sum prize of $60,000. His performance at the Olympics marked him as one of the top athletes in his discipline, further boosting his marketability and career earnings. In addition to his Olympic triumphs, Jakob's performance in other international events, such as the European Championships, where he became the youngest athlete to win both the 1500M and 5000M races in 2018, has solidified his status as a dominant force in track and field. Beyond prize money from races, endorsement deals have played a significant role in elevating Jakob's financial standing. Global brands like Red Bull, Garmin, and Nike have recognized his star power, securing lucrative deals that add to his annual earnings. It's estimated that Jakob earns around $500,000 per year from these brand endorsements. His association with these top-tier companies highlights his value as both an athlete and a marketing asset. But we have something for you as well. If you want the classic Nike track and field shoes, we have dropped a discounted link for you in the description box. Anyways, Jakob's success extends beyond the track and field arena into the world of social media. With a strong following on platforms like Instagram, he is able to capitalize on his popularity through sponsored content and partnerships. His approximate earnings per social media post are reported to reach up to $10,000 showcasing the additional income streams he has created through his online presence. With a career that continues to rise, and given his young age, Jakob Ingebrigtsen is well on his way to significantly increasing his net worth in the coming years.
His ability to attract major sponsorships and endorsements, coupled with his consistent performance on the global stage, ensures that he remains one of the most exciting and financially prosperous athletes in track and field today. As he prepares for future events, including the 2024 Paris Olympics, it will be fascinating to see how his career and his fortune will grow further. While Jakob Ingebrigtsen is primarily known for his athletic prowess, he has also ventured into other areas of interest. Here's a look at his life outside of running. In a surprising twist, Jakob Ingebrigtsen and his brothers formed a pop music group called the Ingebrigtsi. Together, they released the song Ingen Jordet Bedre, Nobody Does It Better, in 2024, which quickly gained popularity in Norway. The catchy tune and accompanying music video, featuring scenic Norwegian landscapes, showcased a different side of the Ingebrigtsen brothers. Ingebrigtsen has also appeared in reality television. The show Team Ingebrigtsen, which aired from 2016 to 2021, followed him and his brothers as they navigated the challenges of professional running. The show provided fans with a glimpse into their personal lives and the sacrifices they make to achieve their athletic goals. In 2024, Amazon Prime announced the development of a new reality show that will follow Jakob and his brothers in the lead-up to the 2024 Olympics in Paris. This show promises to offer fans an exclusive look at their training routines, personal lives, and the intense competition they face. Ingebrigtsen has embraced technology to enhance his performance. He works closely with Koros, a sports technology company, to analyze his training data and identify areas for improvement. By tracking his heart rate, training load, and other metrics, Ingebrigtsen can make informed decisions about his training and race preparation. Despite his demanding training schedule, Ingebrigtsen strives to maintain a balanced lifestyle. He enjoys spending time with family and friends, exploring nature, and pursuing other interests outside of running. This balance helps him stay grounded and motivated, even during the most challenging times. Jakob Ingebrigtsen's journey extends beyond the track his involvement in music, reality television, and technology showcases his multifaceted personality and interests. As he continues to break records and inspire others, it is clear that his impact will be felt long after he retires from competitive running. But that does not mean that Jakob's journey has been easy. Jakob Ingebrigtsen has recently opened up about the emotional and psychological abuse he endured from his father and coach, Geert Ingebrigtsen. Known for his intense training regimens and demanding coaching style, Geert helped shape Jakob into a world-class athlete. However, the success on the track came at a significant personal cost for Jakob and his siblings, who were also trained by their father. Jakob revealed that the pressure and expectations placed upon him by Geert created a toxic environment that severely impacted his mental well-being. While the family had been hailed for their achievements in athletics, with multiple siblings excelling under their father's guidance. Jakob spoke about the emotional strain of being constantly pushed to the limit. He described how the relentless criticism, lack of empathy and high expectations led to feelings of frustration, anxiety, and burnout. The abuse allegations came to light when Jakob and his brothers, Philip and Henrik, distanced themselves from Geert as their coach in 2022. The rift between the father and his children became public shedding light on the darker side of the family's dynamic, which had previously been seen as a model of success. Jakob's revelations highlight the personal sacrifices made by athletes behind their professional achievements. Jakob has since found support through alternative coaching and has spoken openly about the importance of mental health in sports. His experience underscores the ongoing conversation in the sports world about the balance between success and personal well-being. This is evident in his personal relationships. Jakob has kept much of his personal life private, but he is known to be in a committed relationship with his longtime girlfriend, Elizabeth Assesson. The couple has been together for several years and shares a strong bond, often seen supporting each other during major life events and competitions. Elizabeth has been a constant source of support for Jakob throughout his athletic journey. While Jakob's career places him in the global spotlight, Elizabeth prefers a more private life, away from media attention. Despite their low-key approach, Jakob has occasionally shared glimpses of their relationship on social media, 
showcasing their travels, shared moments, and their life together in Norway. In 2021, Jakob and Elizabeth took their relationship to the next level by getting married. The wedding, though intimate, caught the attention of his fans, who celebrated the couple's commitment. As a professional athlete focused on his career, Jakob's relationship with Elizabeth reflects stability and mutual support. She has been an essential part of his life, helping him balance his demanding career with personal happiness. Together, they navigate the challenges of fame and sport while building a strong, enduring partnership. As we wrap up, Jakob Ingebrigtsen's journey continues to captivate the world. From breaking barriers in the Jakob Ingebrigtsen 1500M Olympics to chasing world records, he's not just a runner, he's a force of nature. But what fuels his unstoppable drive? Whether it's his triumph at the Jakob Ingebrigtsen Olympics or pushing boundaries in the Jakob Ingebrigtsen World Championships, there's always a buzz around this track superstar. But controversy isn't far behind. Is Jakob Ingebrigtsen too focused on winning? Are his intense rivalries and bold public statements shaking his public image? And don't forget his lavish lifestyle off the track. Living between the adrenaline-fueled world of athletics and the sophisticated streets of Copenhagen, Jakob Ingebrigtsen knows how to balance luxury with legacy. What's next for him? Will he break another Jakob Ingebrigtsen world record? Stay tuned and don't miss out on the next chapter of his journey. Smash that like button and hit subscribe for more jaw-dropping updates on one of the most dynamic athletes of our time. Let's see if he's ready to conquer the world again.